to. Well, what the? <laughs> I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts or spirits would tell her, "Build this, build this." To fighting for my survival on deserted islands, and when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the battle. Ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy, live a little. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night overnight challenge. Today, we are inside of this haunted prison and we're gonna be spending the night investigating it and just basically hanging out in a haunted prison. I have Aldo with me. Yo, what's up everybody? And I have Angela. And it's really cold, it's really scary. I need you guys to smash the like button because I know you guys love these overnight adventures. Now let's get on with it. All right guys, the adventure begins. I am filming with night vision. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I am absolutely crazy. I am gonna break off from the guys and film my own thing. So I haven't been here in quite some time. I, I'm kind of regretting my decision to use night vision, to be honest. I might switch off night vision and switch on night vision frequently, because it's kind of scary and really dark to be here with just night vision. All right, guys, we are on the medical side. That's where this adventure begins. Keep your eyes wide open. I have been here in the past. The reason why I'm back here is because I know you guys absolutely love this place. Whoa. A lot of infamous prisoners were actually locked up in this prison. And you guys know from the past, we've had a lot of paranormal activity happening inside of this place. Today, I really want to make it up to the bell tower and try to use a spirit box up there. Now, I've been there once, but I never did anything spiritual or tried to communicate with any spirits up inside the bell tower. And that's why today I'm going to make my way up to the bell tower and see what we can find up there. Because I feel like the bell tower has something very spooky up there. All right, here we go. You know what we should try to do? We should try to go to the bell tower and do a spirit box session. Yeah, Yo, like, the yeah, because the bell tower, have you ever been up there? No. It's a little bit hard. You got to climb up very sketchy ladder. But once you're up there, it's really creepy. Like there's like a secret room. <laughs> no, it's serious. Like there's an old secret room. Yeah. It's like a story. That's where the bell is. Oh. There's like a secret room up there. Maybe you can sleep up there the night. I'm down. Are you down? Interesting, so we should so we should explore, make our way to the bell tower, see if it's gonna be warm enough for us to sleep there, because it is super cold here. Yeah, we need to find I promise them we're gonna do an overnight challenge. So we have to find a comfortable place to sleep. Alright, bell tower it is then. Hopefully, hopefully. Are there any spirits in here that wanna communicate with me? Got my K2 meter over here. Oh shit. What is that? I can't see a thing, I'm in the dark right now. I'm gonna make my way to the prison side where they had the prisoners locked up. This side over here is basically the medical side, which I've shown you guys before. I feel very weird, I don't know. I feel very nauseous kind of, all of a sudden. I might be due to being afraid because I'm really afraid right now because um, I'm walking around alone. Really hope there's no one just hanging around here in the dark. Fuck, this is creepy. The things we do for you guys. All this is so you guys can be entertained. Not getting on anything on the K2 meter right now. But like I said, the night is still young. We just got in here. Eventually we will stir something up in this prison. What the f was that? Oh God. No, I just seen a guy standing on the stairs. Like I, I was doing a, a cinematic yeah. and you heard me like kind of like off camera, like kind of like shrug. Yeah. I looked up and I seen a, a black shadow up on the staircase. Well, I heard something actually, that's why I came That was me being scared. No, before that, there was something before that, I heard something? I didn't hear nothing. You're saying you saw a black figure? There's a black shadow just standing up at the staircase staring at me. I'm sitting here doing cinematics of this right here. Did it just like disappear? I, I don't know, it scared me. 
I think it was just a light playing tricks on my mind, guys, but you never know with this place. So that's the way to the basement. No, I'm definitely not gonna go down there alone. Making my way upstairs, I thought I seen something. So saw a shadow figure here. I, yeah, I seen something standing up here staring down at me. And it kind of freaking scared me. Hey spirits, be nice to us. I don't know, it's terrifying up here. So the fact that I'm filming with night vision, it, it's even scarier. I can't see a thing, only you guys can see stuff. I'm using my, my screen over here to see anything. It's just a window up there. I can't see a damn thing. Oh wow. So we're in the prison cell area over here. What the f is over here? What is that? Something. I just heard something move. These are where the cells are, you guys. As you can see, these are the cells. I filmed these before, but never in night vision. Super creepy. Look at this, I got my light on right now so you guys can see a little bit better. Hey, look at that, they left us a message here. Man with D in peanut butter is effing nuts, OJ Simpson. <laughs> That's just weird. Got my K2 going off over here. I felt it kind of go off in my pocket. I wonder how Angelo is doing. We haven't heard from him in a while, actually. Well, I am supposed to be off on my own, but for some reason, Aldo keeps following me. <laughs> it's freaking scary. I know, I don't blame you. I'm actually happy that you're following me around. I'm kind of scared, too. So there's cells on both sides of this wall. Ooh, what the hell? That's creepy. And I'm gonna go off to the other side. Are there any spirits here? At least there's a bit of light from the street lights out here. Which kind of helps out a little bit. So as you guys can see, this is absolutely terrifying. The fact that we're in here right now, and if I was to turn off my IR light, this is what you guys would see. Absolutely nothing. So shout out to these IR lights. They work really well. Oh. What's that? I feel like there's something down there. Angelo? Is that you? Oh god, it scared me for a second. I can see you through the night vision. Oh my god, okay, so Angelo's at the end of that prison cell area. I'm gonna go and see what Angelo is up to. Oh my god. What the f was that? What the f what the f just slammed? One of these f things just moved. Is anybody inside the cell? Where are you? All those over here. You're all the way down there. Something just moved inside of this cell over here. You heard that too? That was loud. How can you not hear that? It came from here, from one of the cell areas over here. What the was that? What the was that? I touched the gate and it got like electrocuted. I'm not even joking. Yo. I got electrocuted. I touched the gate wearing gloves and I got electrocuted. My glove flew off. This is crazy. Go touch the gate. Yo, yeah, I touched the gate. I literally got electrocuted wearing gloves. And that's where the noise came from. There's nothing there now. That's so weird. 
What's up with the cell? What number cell is this? Number four? Oh my god, the vibes I'm getting inside of the cell is unreal. I, I'm not joking, it felt like something shocked me. Are there any spirits that wanna hurt me in here? Can you make that door close? I am not joking. Something literally shocked me once I touched that door. And as I was walking, it sounded like the door closed, but it's not actually closed. It's very interesting. That did not feel pleasant at all. It's like it shocked me and it really freaked me out. There's like a lot of coincidences happening here. I've seen something that looks like a shadow figure staring up at me from the railings. Now I remember, what the, seriously? What's going on here? Bro, something just touched my shoulder on my right shoulder. I don't know if I'm just freaking out because of the darkness. I think what it is is whatever spirits are in here, because you know there's a lot of ghosts in this place. I think they know I'm scared because I actually am terrified. And when you're terrified, they feed off of your, your fear. I want to go off on my own, but at the same time, it's terrifying and it's extremely cold. And we are going to try to find a place to sleep the night here today. So we're going to find the bell tower and go to the bell tower and sleep there. I've been going around kind of from cell to cell. I thought I'd seen like handprints in the walls here. Just trying to see if anything comes up here. I'm not getting anything on the K2 meter, which is pretty interesting. It'd be nice if I got a reading or two. Now this is terrifying. Both the guys are upstairs somewhere. I hate being alone. I'm scared. I shouldn't even say that out loud. <sighs> I hate this. I just had like a moment of pause because I'm frozen. I don't know if this door is moving. It looks like it's kind of moving, but it also could be just a light playing tricks on me. Yeah, this door is like really hard to move, so it must be the lights. Or it must be something else, I don't know. It's terrifying here. I need to get it together, make my way upstairs. Whoa! What? What's, what's wrong? In a hole? Yeah, there's like a hole in this prison, and I was just filming. Like in the wall, you mean? Yeah, like in the wall, there's a hole in the wall. And I was just trying to see what's on the other side, and there's a big shadow over here just moving. <gasps> yeah, shh. Angela? Yeah. Oh, God. What? You keep coming out of nowhere. Huh? You keep coming out of nowhere. Yo, can you see the hole that Jesus. It's right there. What is it, a glory hole? Yeah, it kind of. <laughs> it's like a glory hole right there. I put my camera inside it, and then something moved on the other side. Which doesn't make sense. The handle is right here. I was on the other side. Huh? I was on the other side. Yeah, but you can't, you can't see through that to the other side. I don't see nothing in there. I don't know, I something moved right by. Like whatever's on the other side of this wall, something moved. And I caught it on the camera. Like on the other side. Oh, the, I mean, there's a, a crawl space to walk in there. Not gonna lie, I've been having really, really terrifying visions in the dark in this place. Yeah. I don't know if it's because like whatever spirits are in here know that I'm kind of scared. I don't like it though. It's no, uh, it's, it's not a fun feeling. Yeah, it takes some get used to it completely. I don't think I can ever get used to it to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. That's so weird, right? Yeah. Like why is that there? Number nine. Ooh. What's your uh, favorite number? Number thirteen in here is supposed to be the most haunted. What's your favorite number? Do you have a favorite number? No, I don't. My favorite number is seven. Like, How seven. original. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like numbers. Screw you, I wasn't good at math class, not gonna lie. We should find the bell tower though. Yeah. And know. make our way up there. That's downstairs. Yeah. In the basement. Yeah. Although it's just running right now. He got scared by something upstairs. 
Dude, I went into this area over here and I almost had a heart attack. I don't know what happened in this room, but it, I felt like there was a presence in here of something. Yeah, this area here, this area is strange. It's like a smaller cell area. Oh, it's creepy in here, dude. I'm like feeling my way around right now because I can't see a thing. Are there any gremlins in here? Well, there's more cells over here. Holy crap. I forgot about all this. More prison cells, guys. Look at this. There's so many of them. Are there any ghosts in here? Hey, spirits. Ooh, I'm getting something on the K2. Finally, I haven't had nothing all night. It stopped. Have you had anything on the K2? Uh, I haven't even taken my note, to be honest. Yeah, it like went off for a little bit and that was it. Would really appreciate it if you communicated with me on this device. I'm not afraid of you. Maybe a little bit. Okay, a lot. So I just had this idea to do a spirit box reading down in solitary confinement. It's in the basement near the tunnels. So we're gonna look for those, do a spirit box session down there. Here. There should be a staircase somewhere. Is that a staircase? So I wanna try a spirit box session down in the basement and see if we get anything. I've never done that in this place. Oh. Yeah, the basement's really scary in this place. Yeah. Like, this place is no joke, guys. Not only is it a prison, it used to hold a lot of, a lot of scary inmates. And uh, really dangerous ones too, rapists, killers. And the funny thing is, most of the inmates were women. Yes, you heard me right, this was a women's prison. Watch out for the ice here. Here we go, down to the basement. Sing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sing. Yeah, it's Wrong way. I think Wait, what's that? I think it's this way. Yeah, it's past that door actually. Yeah, down here. Well, here we go. Oh my god. So we are in solitary now. This is where things get scary. Past that door is a solitary. Anyone here? Are you hiding? We're not gonna hurt you. Turn my lights on. Switching off of night vision for now. I heard someone down here. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but I definitely heard something. So through those doors, that's where solitary is. Is it openable? It used to be able to, it's a heavy door. No. Oh, somebody locked it. Somebody tied it. What the hell? <laughs> you know, I'd rather a demon. So there might be someone living in solitary because someone tied a rope and locked this door. Hello, is anybody in here? We're not uh, here to hurt you. Let's hope this door doesn't lock behind us. I'm actually gonna put this here. Whoa! Put this here. <laughs> okay, so now <sighs> hey, look, we got some bullets over here. Oh. So a friend of mine found Stashed cocaine in this place one time. So we are in the solitary confinement area. I want to do a spirit box session down here, which I think would be really cool. Look at the beds. They're kind of still in great shape. We could actually sleep here the night for the overnight challenge. Like, look at all this. 
Isn't this awesome? Someone has been sleeping here. Huh? Is that like a knob? A shower knob? Yeah, they probably had to shower in here or something. Actually, no, there's a shower here. So anyone that stayed in solitary in this place would have had to come all the way over here and use this shower. Um, where is it? There's a shower here somewhere. It's so creepy that I'm sitting here inside of a prison cell. So if I was locked up in here, this is how I would sleep. <laughs> Setting up camp for the night? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I just got a blanket. Yeah. I think I'll be good once I get a blanket in here. <laughs> we all have our own room too. Honestly, I would lose my mind if I was locked up in here. But there's not much to do. The door was closed. <laughs> hey, keep me down out there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sleep. So I'm not going to close the door because I'm going to pull the jiggy. <laughs> you guys remember when Jiggy locked himself in the prison one time? There you go. If I was locked up in here, this is all the free space I would have. Can't do much. There's no windows besides these little ones. But you can't even see outside of these windows. Like you couldn't see the outside world, you wouldn't know what to do. Some of the most scariest inmates that were in here, the most the worst ones, would actually only get one hour of daylight per day. Besides that, they would be in here for 23 hours a day. They'd only get one hour to go outside, and when they take them outside, they put them in a box, and all they can see is the sky above them. So they wouldn't be able to see anything else but some four walls. So they never really ever had any freedom besides that one hour outside of the cell, and probably, they, they probably had to eat their food in here too. Hello. Um, is this meal time? Hey, you dropped your soul. Come here. <laughs> oh yeah, if you ever go to prison, don't drop the soap. Yeah. Or just don't go to prison. Don't do bad things. I am switching back to night vision mode. And it's creepier that way, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want more night vision or do you guys prefer nighttime videos with lights on. I know you guys like nighttime videos more than daytime, but I've been also getting a lot of comments that you guys want magnet fishing videos. Like, out of all the things that I give you, you guys beg for magnet fishing. And I haven't been doing it because, first of all, it's cold outside. Let's be real here. Yeah, the lakes are all frozen. Right? The lakes, I mean, they're, some of them are de-thawing, but the ones that I like to go to, they're kind of still frozen. Yeah. And it's just really hard to film a video out there in the cold. But once they de-thaw, magnet fishing is coming back in full force. So I want to do a spirit box reading down here in the solitary confinement. This is part of the solitary that I actually, oh, there's the shower. That's the shower that I was talking about. So these guys that were locked up in here, this is where they would have to shower. They would come out of there and into this box that gets locked behind them. What the so even while they're showering in here, they're locked and they have no privacy. Wow. Now when I say guys, I meant women because this was a woman's prison. Guys aren't the only people that go to prison in solitary. Like, there's women that are really bad out there too, yeah. you know, and they end up in here. Or they used to end up in here. This is where they would shower. All right, Angelo, go shower. Okay. I want to see you naked. Don't worry, there's no lock on it. <laughs> Wait, you want to see him what? What? You want to see him naked? Shower, I All right. You want to so, see my booty? so if Angelo was a prisoner and he was showering, this is how much. Only really small shower. There's like no space in there. And no privacy. Look at that. You can see everything. Well, I mean, you can't really see down there. I can, I can see your doodle. Hey, look at that, all those in the shower. How's that shower treating you? Uh, it's all right, you know it's... You, you got enough room there for yourself, or what? Not really. <laughs> He's like... What is that? I don't know. I can't see anything in the dark, I don't know what's moving. Is something moving over there? I can't tell. Hello? You know, I just realized something, guys. We're sitting here Yo, joking. What? Yo, is this blood? Where? Look. Come see, come see. Where? Inside? Yeah, no, right here. Oh, yeah, there's, oh, yeah, there's red blood. There's red blood. I just noticed that. that. It's not the first time I found blood in this place. Too. I just noticed that. There was like a whole wall that had a ton of blood on it in the past. How is it bleeding? I, didn't make I, any sense. I mean, it's not bleeding, it's dry. I can't believe I just stood in that shower. Okay, guys, we're sitting here joking around. But what was that noise? Seriously. I was just gonna ask you. Bro, this is getting weird, man. Like, uh, we heard a sound, and now that I just know that there's blood there. There, if I can remember correctly, there was a wall in here covered in blood. 
And like really? handprints all over it. Yeah. yeah, maybe we shouldn't sleep in this area. <laughs> Let's go to the bell tower. I know I said I was gonna do a spirit box. I kinda don't want to do one down here. I wanna do one in the bell tower. I really I have a good feeling about the bell tower. This orb just flew out my camera from over there. Yeah, it freaked me out. Hello? Yep, you're in K2 meter. Yeah. Guys, I, I actually I heard someone there. Like I heard movement over there. Yeah, we all heard that. No, aside from the bang that we heard. Sound like somebody was there, like fiddling with their keys. No, we're staying completely quiet. There's definitely something moving here. Maybe whatever that thing is, it's gone. It's not going to be gone. This thing. Whatever it is, it's going to be following us around. It's not going to go away anywhere. All right, we're gonna continue this search for the bell tower. Where are we? I've never been here. Can we get through this way? Uh, I see stairs over there. Stairs, yeah. uh, this is amazing. That's kind of awesome. Oh, I found the tunnels. Oh, did you? Yeah, this is where the tunnels are. Oh, look, this is after here to here. Yeah, this is... This is how you get down to the tunnels. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. Should we go in? Let's check it out. You guys want to check out the tunnels? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright guys, switching off of night vision. We're gonna go and see the tunnels and see if we can get anything in there. So the tunnels are this way if I remember correctly. So, yeah, let's, I want to see the tunnels. It's been a long time since I've been down here. So I'm pretty sure they just keep going down and down. Like you can walk down these tunnels like 20 minutes. Oh, so this is like the tunnels? Yeah, but they get bigger as you progress through them. There used to be lights on down here. Now the lights are gone. Yeah, no, I can see them. They're kind of hung up there. You see it? Mm, yeah. So the lights are on or off? Th they're off. Oh, but they're hung up. So. Yeah. All right, I know you guys want us to go through these tunnels. So we're going to go and travel through these tunnels. Oh, yeah, this is wet. So here we go. Hopefully we get some type of paranormal activity down here. Oh no, we're just here. <gasps> what? Oh my god. What? Oh, oh my K2 down here is on red. Is it? Yeah. It was kind of dangerous. Look, the, the ceiling's all dripping water. Look at this. Red, just pure red down here. This is a safety hazard. I'm gonna turn off my lights for a sec. Okay. Look at this. My K2, oh, it stopped. Are there any spirits down here? There's probably something living down here, right? We're underground. Look at this, it's, it's just going to yellow and red. My K2 just made a very weird noise. What's that? I hear it, I go in my ear suddenly. Is there anything down here with us? Oh, look, 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 K2. Yo, so we are getting something down here. This is interesting, guys. We're in a tunnel. How creepy. Do you guys want to keep going, or are you... It's kind of dangerous, <laughs> to be honest. I'm at red now, you guys. Like besides the fact that there might be a ghost, it's actually yeah. dangerous. But like, I'm literally at red now. Ceiling all dripping water. All right, so we're gonna leave the tunnels. I don't like being the last one. Wait for me, man, wait for me. <laughs> I actually hate being the last guy in the tunnel. I don't really like the risk part. I like being first all the time. We have to gauge how much we're risking here. It's like literally, if you're last in here, something can just pull out of the darkness and grab you. So, let's go up to the bell tower, boys. Ugh. 
If you're a prisoner and you want to break out of this prison, all you would have to do is just break through this door. That's it. And break through that little cage down there and escape. Get through all the guards through the polygon. Yeah, probably. But it might not have been that hard to do maybe back then. I don't know. This is a very old prison. So we're in the warehouse area. We're still trying to find the, the bell tower. It's really, really hard to find. But there's mattresses in here. There needs to be much, much more than that. Those couple of mattresses that are over there. What is that? Hello? Anyone here? It is unbelievably creepy just looking through the darkness. All right, so we're making our way up to the bell tower. And yeah, that's, I think that's where it is. Yeah, that's it, 100%. Yeah. You just gotta climb a ladder. I've been up there. All right, let me go up first. <laughs> been a while. Wait, it doesn't, what's through here? Oh, it's creepy here. So I'm pretty sure that's the ladder to the tower. I just remember it going up through this way. What's through this door over here? What the fuck is that? Who's in there? Did you do that? Do what? Look, look inside. Look inside. Look inside the fucking room. Whoa, what the fuck? No, that thing's moving! Yeah! How? Oh my god. Oh my god, it scared the f out of me. I almost tripped over this thing. Are you yelling? Yeah, because I, I walked in. Yeah. Shit, my bad. I'm freaking out now. Bro, it's moving pretty fast. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck was that? Did you see something? Yeah, I yeah. see something fly behind Angela. Okay, yeah. let's get the hell out of here, man. It's already like 5 a.m. Let's just leave. I said we still go up to the bell tower. It's right there. Yeah, 100%. I'm kidding. Can we focus on one thing? Because like my mind is racing a million times. Oh, I think it's so moving, man. This is a horrible idea. Look at this K2 meter out. That thing is literally moving, guys. And that's high up there. Like, I can't reach that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, Angelo, were you in that room? Or you weren't in this room, were you? No. You were in the other room. Dude, it literally terrified me because I wasn't expecting that walking in. Yeah, so Angel was in this room. What a creepy ass place. Look at this, I found a photo Ooh. of two ladies over here. Oh baby. Do you like blondes more or brunettes more? Um, no comment because I am married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't want my wife to come after me. I'm not picky. Hey, hey, hey! Something's moving. Yo! Bro, they're all moving. Yeah, they are moving. What the freak? Oh, what the? Bro. Oh, no way. Oh. They're all moving. Every one of them. Oh my god. Yeah. They're all moving. How is this possible? Even those ones are moving too. Where? No. Oh my god. Every light is moving. Every light fixture is fucking moving in here. Oh. No. Are you kidding me? Yo. How is it? How is that even possible? Hold on, what? Out of here. Every light fixture is moving at oh once. God. Every one of them. Yo. What kind of demons are in here? Do you see this? Yeah. What was that? Everybody stay quiet. Everybody stay quiet. How is this even possible? Every one of these fucking lights is moving. We need to get out of here. I'm honestly terrified right now. The fact that these lights are still going super crazy. Oh my god. 
Dude, those are like 20 feet high up. Huh? I know, they're all moving, all of them at once. I told you guys, I heard a noise in the other room. Can you stop making these lights move like that? Can you make a door close? What was the bang that we heard though? I don't know bro, it came from down there. I, think. I, th I don't know if it was a light playing tricks on my eyes, but I think these lights were moving too, right? These ones here? What was that? I think these ones were moving. I couldn't really tell. I don't know. Were these ones moving? I don't know. I'm freaking out. Sometimes, like, the light plays tricks on you, but these ones were definitely moving. Shit. Look, that one's still moving. Yeah. Like, they're high up there. Those are. A what? The brick only broke off. Yeah, they are pretty high. Like, yeah, you're right. You gotta be careful. I can't reach them. No. They're, like, really high up there. Guys, this is crazy. Just the way it happened, the feeling of it, it felt like we were kind of under attack. You know what I mean? Because we can't see what's going on, and every one of these lights is just going absolutely berserk. It was terrifying. As much as I want us to get the f out of here, which I really do, I still want to go up to this tower. Yeah, like, almost six in the morning, bro. Like, I, I went up to this tower. I went up to this tower years ago. I've been dying to go back up there. Just like something telling me to go back up there. Because trust me, Angela, once you get up there, it's like a whole other world up there. It's really creepy. Are you sure you can get up there? It's like I'm being clipped. No, I'm going up. The old Mos RG is back. Let's go. <sighs> One hander. Anyone up here? I hope not. No. Wait, this isn't it. No. no. I oh, it is it. There's the tower. Oh, okay. oh, that's scary. Dude, you guys gotta get up here. Um, really? Yeah, just like <laughs> wow. Wow, you know what's funny? The last time I went up to this tower, the guys that were with me, everybody chickened out. I just don't do heights, so. But there's nothing, it's not that high. Yeah, it's, it's <sighs> I'm good. <laughs> so that's the tower, you guys. I don't know. I want to go up, I don't want to go up alone. <laughs> it's creepy up in there. Like, there's a door of the entrance to it. Ah, screw it. I'll come back next time with people that aren't as afraid to go up to this tower. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm afraid of heights too, just to let you guys know. And I did this with one hand, just so you guys know. I climbed this tower. One hand? Well, it was a one-hander. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Survived that one. Almost lost my face there. Yeah. Thanks, Aldo. Yeah, huh. So, um... I kind of do want to get out of here because those chandeliers or lights or whatever the f is doing that. That high up, that is no joke. There's something really strong out here. Every time we come here, there's always something super weird and super scary. Did you guys just feel that gust of wind brush by you or was it just me? Yeah. Yeah, I felt that too. I had something like brush by me. Yeah, it's not the first time I had that happen. Really? When we were downstairs, something touched my shoulder and I freaked out over it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright guys, we are making our way out of here. It's getting really, really late in the morning. I feel like we have sufficient scares and sufficient footage for you guys to be entertained. After all, this is why we came here, so you guys can be entertained from our misery. 
because our misery apparently entertains people. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm gonna leave Angelo and all those links down in the comments below. You guys can subscribe to them. We each kind of did break off for a little while and then we kept meeting up. So if you guys wanna go watch your versions of this video, their links are gonna be down below. Smash the like button. Don't forget, download my game, the Mo Mania game. Um, if you get the high score, you're gonna get featured in the game. You're gonna get your own character. I might even give Aldo a character Ooh. in the game and maybe Angelo a character in the game, but they have to hit the high scores. And I know one of you guys is about to get featured in our game because your high score is through the roof. Someone has literally played 200 hours of gameplay on the Momania. Oh it's insane. God. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. If you want more adventures, let me know in the comments below as well. Links, links for all my social medias are down below. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.